Oh, man. DJI just pulled a GoPro. Coming up on the Chad RC Models and 3D Printing channel. What's going on guys, Chad back here with you on the channel and today we are going to talk about the DJI Spark firmware update. Yes, this is the one that supposedly is going to keep our Sparks from falling out of the air for no unexplained reason. Now DJI in their infinite wisdom, of course has not admitted any of this at all, but what they have done is They've put a little warning in there. They said, update by September 1st, or else you are going to be bricked, grounded, not a, even a flight restriction, grounded, like on the ground. So what does that tell you? That tells you that there was a definite problem out there. They're not gonna admit it. Thumbs up to GoPro for admitting that you had a problem and then taking care of it. Too bad the drone just isn't or isn't ready for today's prime time. First of all, this is a total system upgrade. Remote, spark, batteries, everything has to be updated this time. So make sure you do all of that. Videos of mine on the channel, plenty of videos on how to do that. Okay, connect, download, all that kind of stuff. Let's take a look at the release notes. This is 1.00.06, and according to the release notes, this is going to work on iOS 4.1.7, which I don't think is out yet, so look for that to be on the way here in the next couple days, and Android 4.1.5.3, for those of you that unfortunately have to use an Android device. Sorry. So what's new? Added full support for DJI goggles. Well, I've been using my goggles with the Spark. They worked. I couldn't do everything. I could snap pictures. I could shoot videos, but I couldn't do gesture modes, and I couldn't do this, and I couldn't do that. Now the goggles will work. Eh, you know, whatever. It's fun with uh, the FPV and everything, but I don't know. Goggles just aren't made for these drones, I don't think. Maybe long range, because long range is fun with these with goggles, actually. Fixed issues where users cannot set the flight distance, as well as insufficient ascent for droney and helix quick shots in some regions. Some of those regions would be the United States. I still can't do some of these things, so I am anxious to test this out to see if this works. Helix mode is one of the coolest shots ever, but it is unpredictable and uncontrollable unless you practice, practice, practice. Do not try to do this around trees. Do not try to do this in a park. You need to go into an open field, big field, big, real big. Try it out. Then try it wherever you want to. Optimize palm launch, you know, where it'll go up and you can recognize you and you don't need a remote and stuff like that. I thought palm launch actually works pretty good. It was palm lane and it kind of sucks. I mean, you put your palm underneath the spark and it just doesn't want to land. It just kind of goes, hey, there's uh, oh, let me get it here. Hey, there's something underneath me, so I'm going to keep going up. So you do one of these and then it gets stuck up here and you're like, oh, geez, what do I got to do? I don't know how much battery I got or anything else, so I got to wait to it. Wait for it to die and land. That's always interesting. Um, optimized battery management to improve stability. This is the second firmware release in a row where this has happened. I don't know what's going on with these batteries, if they're trying to squeeze more juice out of them or something like that. I hope so. That's my only complaint about the Spark is the battery life is, you know, not what we're used to with some of our other DJI drones. And now here's a big one. Fixed occasional issue with the remote controller wouldn't function normally after updating the firmware. Um, I don't know if that is their all-inclusive, we fixed the problem type of deal, and that we found the problem was in the RC. That's why it was just falling out of the sky. I really don't know, but that's in there. In the notes, it does say to make sure you update each battery because there is a firmware update 
and the update must be installed before 2017-9-1, otherwise the aircraft will not be able to take off. So that shows you how serious this problem has been, how many reports DJI has got, and they have actually responded to fix this issue. So thumbs up to DJI, thumbs down to not admitting that what the problem is and letting us know. Please restart everything, and of course, if the firmware fails, restart, try it all again, try the assistant, this and that. And of course, don't forget to check all of your settings. Don't forget to check and make sure that it is your route return to home altitude is set where it needs to be, that it's recording your home point, everything like that. Run it through a couple little test runs before you start doing crazy wild adventures in the forest or over water or anything like that, just to make sure that everything is good. I have installed everything on the update, everything installed fine. I had no problem doing everything over the Wi-Fi. You do have to connect and disconnect and it did lose connection a couple times with the spark. But the nice thing about it is you just reconnect to it and it will just pick up where the update stopped and it will just finish. It always seems to disconnect right at the very end as well, at 99%. It always, this is the third uh, firmware update in a row where it's did that. So I have to disconnect from my home Wi-Fi, reconnect to the Spark, and then it says update complete. I don't know why it does it. It just does it, but it works. So anyway, the Spark's flying great. Everything's working good for me. I luckily didn't have one fall out of the sky, and I hope i don't if not i'm covered by state farm so go check out your state farm 60 bucks a month not every agent sells it call 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 called you don't need home you don't need auto some of them say you do it's called a personal articles policy so go check it out that's going to do it for this one today guys stay tuned to the channel for more of this spark flying around we got photo series coming up we got model stuff coming up we got 3d prints coming up all kinds of good stuff here on the channel for you. All right, see ya.